good morning guys and welcome back to the channel i'm star i wanted to get on here you guys just to like talk about small business owning because i am a small business owner and i feel like this video would be very helpful to people out there trying to build their business disclaimer before i even get started you guys you know i have to say this sorry for how i look because it's 8.54 in the morning and I decided to make this video for you guys so just bear with me my voice does not sound the best in the morning um but we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video so first and foremost before I get into the video if you guys have any certain questions you have about small business owning please feel free to drop it in the comments below and I will try to answer those questions if I haven't in this video in the next video. So, um, first things first is I own a boutique called Star Couture and I sell a range of items from clothing to slides to jewelry to lashes to designer bonnets and do-rags. Okay, you guys, I sell a wide range of things. When I first started off, I want to say I started a little bit before my daughter was born in 2016, but it wasn't until I want to say probably about 2017 that I officially put a stamp on my business and had it legalized. Once I got my business legalized, I was able to post it. So first starting off my business, um, it was okay, the flow was okay. One thing about owning a business, especially when it's just you and you have no one to help you, it's very difficult, okay? Because you have a lot of orders coming in, you have people who want it shipped, you have people who want to pick it up. It's a wide range of things that's a lot on one person because you still have personal things going on in your life and you may also have a full-time job. So for me, it's very difficult you know, when people want to pick up an order right then and there because they need it for tomorrow. Or if you have somebody who plans to pick up an order and they cancel and that's time that you wasted that you could have did something else. So, like I said, it's a lot into it. And I just want to go over my experience and go over some tips that I have for small business owners. The first tip I have for small business owners is don't give up. It's going to be extremely hard. You're not going to get consistent sales in the first week, the first month, even. You know, you're not going to have daily sales. So you have to keep promoting yourself, which is tip number two. Keep promoting yourself because that's the way to get yourself out there. If no one can buy anything if they don't know about you. And if it's whatever area you're in, if it's not your sales aren't going up in whatever area you, you're in, it's better to post around on social media so that way you can get sales from all of them. Me personally, I offer shipping to everyone around the world, even in other countries. So the best thing to do is set up a strategy for your business so that way you don't get too overwhelmed and that way you're able to do things in a timely manner without, you know, your customers waiting or having any issues occur. The only issues that should occur is when it's out of your hand, anything happens during shipping with the carrier or anything like that, it's out of your hands. There's nothing you could have done about that. You did everything that you were supposed to do. And one of the big things a lot of people want to know about is vendors. And I will go over that in another video because vendors is a lot of research and time to find vendors. Um, and that's what really took me so long to get my business where I wanted to be because I didn't just want to buy from any vendor or oversell an item and the quality not match what I'm selling it for. So whenever I buy from a vendor, you guys, I always buy samples. I always just buy, you know, a low amount just so I can see the quality of it, wear it, wash it, do all of that stuff so you can see how the quality is. You know, you had a good quality item. The benefit of being a small business owner is it's easier to communicate with your customers and let them know, hey, this is what's going on. This is what I can do about it. Um, and that's what 
I mainly like to do anytime, you know, I know something's going to be late or any stipulations that I know beforehand, I always tell my customer. I do not collect money and then let them know, hey, it's going to take eight weeks for it to get there. You know, I let them know everything up front so that way it's not any confusion. They're not upset because they paid some money, but really they could have went out to a store and got something because they needed it sooner. So it's like, you don't lose out, but at the same time, they get you know what they need and more that's what you want to do when you're in a business you want to make customers feel like hey she cares so at least they can say you did something about it and sorry for my lighting you guys it's pointing that way on the ceiling i don't have my ring light on my